Hey, what's happening guys? I've got a short and an easy one for you today. So first of all, let me show you the layout on the board. These wires on the side are just connecting our power rails together. We have a switch with one side going to ground, the other side going to digital two. We have an LED grounded out. It's anode going through a 330 ohm resistor into digital four. Then we have simply brought out power and ground. So really there's only one thing this circuit can do, right? It's a toggle. It's a light toggle. So what makes this special? Nothing particularly. It's a very simple circuit. But if you haven't taken classes in Arduino or been exposed to it or anything, this could be you know, something that might be very puzzling to you. Because here's the thing. I'm going to show you the code. There's nothing going on in loop. Now, I know that half of you have already went, well, of course, but that's because it's in ba -ba -ba -ba, an interrupt. It's an interrupt. Let's take a look at it. Okay. So here's a short little sketch, and there is nothing to it. We're creating an integer variable called pin, and we're setting it a value of four. That is going to be our output. Now, we are creating a volatile integer called state, and we're setting its output to low. The volatile just simply means it can change. This is important. This means that the interrupt that we're going to use is going to be able to pass that value back somewhere. All right? So here we have our setup, pin mode, pin which we just talked about right here, number four, is set as output. And don't forget your semicolons when you're dealing with the C language. We have digital write to high. So we're setting that pin high. Now we are going to attach our interrupt. That's interrupt zero. There are two interrupts, zero and one. And they attach the pins two and three as a toggle on the falling edge. Now here's a loop of our program. And as you can see, other than a little comment, there's nothing going on here. Nobody is reading the button. Nothing is looking for the button in the loop of the program. So you can have all sorts of things going on here, including delays. But when we did this here, when we attached an interrupt, it is going to bypass all that. See, the interrupt is an asynchronous communication. A synchronous one would be, you're not going to read the button until you get to line 15 here, and it says digital read uh, number two, right? No, you don't have to do any of that. You can have whatever you want going on here. Here is our interrupt. Remember, we called it toggle. So down here, we just create a little subroutine called toggle. And then we say if state, which we created up here, which starts out as low, then it toggles to high. Otherwise, it's low. And then we do a digital write to the pin called state. And that's what you just saw over here. It simply flicks it back and forth between one and the other. Now, there's a hundred more things you can do with it. But this is just a very simple explanation of what to do and how to set up an interrupt on the Arduino. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.